let me show you this. We all live inside a bubble, right? This is our world. We go to church here. We work over here. We go get our coffee over here. We go to this park over here. We usually go over here to, you know, hang out with friends. This is our favorite club. This is our world. This is our favorite spot on the beach. We all live in this bubble. What you got to do to get the life that God wants you to have, you got to put more air in your bubble. You got to blow your bubble up. Expand yourself. Take yourself out your comfort zone. Do not live in your bubble. Put some more air in your bubble. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever want to be successful. Start putting some pressure on. Put some pressure on yourself. Get out here and get about it. Look, I'd love to sugarcoat this thing for you. I'd love to tell you, look, you can go out here and get rich, do a couple of things, that ain't, that ain't happening. You got to get real doggish. You got to get downright funky if you want to make it. Now, like I was telling you before, if you want to be ordinary, you ain't even got to listen to me. Just go on about your business. If you think ordinary is cool, ain't no problem. It's some really, really wonderful ordinary people. But if you are sitting in this room and you have extraordinary aspirations, then you're going to have to do extra. You put extra on top of extra, uh, on ordinary and you come up with extraordinary. It's no other way. I'm sorry. But here's the fact. All of you have extraordinary capabilities. All of you. You have to decide if you are willing to do the things to put you in that category. Rich people don't sleep eight hours a day. That's a third of your life. It ain't but 24 hours in a day. You cannot be sleep eight hours a day. You can't live in LA and wake up at eight o'clock in the morning. It's 11 o'clock on the East Coast. The stock market been open two hours. They already making decisions about your life and your ass was sleep. The Bible says, he who loves to sleep and the folding of hands, poverty will set upon you like a thief in the night. He who loves to sleep and the folding of hands, poverty will set upon you like a thief in the night. I'm gonna ask you one question, I'm gonna go. How many of you in here know somebody who loves to sleep? Who knows somebody that loves to sleep? Let me ask you something. Ain't they poor? 